Minecraft is a happy game, but that doesn't mean that it's all sunshine and roses. Sometimes, sometimes it can be incredibly frustrating. So in today's video on this platform right here, I'm going to take you through 50 of the most frustrating moments in Minecraft. Frustrating thing number one, when you're working on a build that's far away from your storage system and you forget the one thing that you need to actually finish it up. With that being said, if I know that I'm going to work on a double piston extender and I manage to forget the piston, um, I don't think that's frustrating. I think that's more concerning. Waiting for grass to spread. Anyone who's been playing Minecraft for a long time will know this feeling. You know, before the days of Silk Touch, this is what we had to do to get grass into our builds. You just sit, and you wait, and you gradually pull your hair out. And actually, in a similar vein to that one, is there any worse feeling than accidentally trampling farmland? Especially if it has a crop on it that is almost fully grown, but hasn't quite fully grown. So you've put in the time, but you actually haven't got the end product. Villagers, just villagers. Not having your nether portal link up properly. Now the math should be simple. All you have to do is take the coordinates of the nether portal, divide them by eight, make a prayer to the rain god, and then sacrifice your firstborn, and the portal should link up correctly. This isn't where I want to be. My sacrifice was for nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't be laughing. That's quite sad. No. That one hurts. That one really, really hurts. And actually, you know what? I've got a bit of a bone to pick with beds. What do you mean I can't sleep? Uh, what? About 11? 11 a.m.? I'm a, I'm a YouTube, I make YouTube videos for a living. I, I sleep. This is what YouTubers do. We sleep at this time. This is... This is prime time to sleep. No, but seriously, not being able to sleep when you think you should be able to sleep is probably the most frustrating thing in Minecraft. This is the strangest thing ever. I can't actually set the time to night. <laughs> I don't know. This has never happened to me before. I had like two more bed-based night things that I was going to joke around about, and that's it's totally ruined them, which in of itself is quite frustrating. Well, I guess we can move swiftly on from that one then. When you need to jump between two things that are decently far apart from one another, and you fail to sprint. I mean, this this is the reason why I don't do parkour, you see? The auto jump feature. Who uses this? All right, which one of you, which one of you <laughs> uses this? Okay, don't, feel free to comment down in the comment section. No judgments here, but all I'll say is if you do use it, if you do use it, I don't even know. I was going to say that you should catch on fire, but that might be a little bit strong. Accidentally brushing up a wall while you're sprinting and it stops you from sprinting. This is extra especially painful when you're running down nether tunnels because I, I like to take my hand off the mouse, all right, and then gradually I brush up against that wall. Can't run anymore. Maybe I should just stop being lazy and keep my hand on the mouse now that I think about it. Villagers. Haven't you done this already, I hear you say? Yeah. Yes, I have. Yeah. And that it needs to be done again. Just look at them. Now I'll be the first to admit that this one's a little bit specific, but as someone who does a lot of redstone, it does seem to affect me quite frequently. And when you're trying to place a repeater underneath your feet, you've got a ceiling above you, right? You have to time it perfectly. You, you, it's a real fine art. Maybe this one just affects me because, well, you know, people will give me coordinates, right? And I'll be like, all right, okay. I oh, know that's the wrong way. That's the, that's the wrong way too. Okay, I've, I've got this totally wrong. <laughs> It ends up making me more confused. I just, I can't seem to do the maths on the fly. Anyone who's watched Mining This Girl's Hermitcraft end busting videos will definitely be familiar with that. When you and your friend come up with a fairly similar idea for a base, and, and you know, you both, you both build your bases and they do it much better than you ever could. <laughs> I, w I wouldn't know how that feels, not, not at all. I'm not crying, you're crying. Accidentally breaking your ender chest with your non-silk touch pickaxe. I mean, if, if it's not enchanted, you've got plenty of time to think about what you're doing, you know. I, I don't even feel bad for you. Having to live off of melons. You know, I get it. Melons are an easy thing to get your hands on. You know, it's quite easy to make a fully automatic melon farm. But they are horrendous foods to have to try and survive on. I mean, look, you're constantly getting hungry. Constant. I've just eaten, and look, my food bar's gone down even more. This is, this is going to be really tricky to demonstrate, I'm not going to lie. Right, you know, sometimes you're riding in the boat, off and on land, right? And then you hop out the boat. And then, and then you always get stuck in the, I've still got auto jump on, burn me. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you know, sometimes you jump out of the boat and then you get, you get stuck in the boat. And then sometimes the boat disappears and you're still stuck in the boat, but then you can't see the boat. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. When you call your Minecraft world something really, really stupid, and then you can't for the life of you find it in your Minecraft list. I used to do this all the time. It took me about five years to learn not to do this, which is ridiculous. This one's for you, dispensers. Any form of crafting recipe that requires non-stackable items. This is as fast as I can do it. This is the maximum velocity that I can craft dispensers. It makes me sick. <laughs> this splash screen is actually perfect for what I'm about to say. This could be a tiny bit specific to me, but when people come out of nowhere and just remove your moustache. 
You know, it. I, I, have any of you experienced this, or is this just me? I feel like it could be just me. The fact that we can place redstone on top of pistons, but as soon as the piston extends, the redstone breaks. Now this isn't necessarily frustrating. It's just. It's just a bit odd. I can't wait for all the comments from the Bedrock Edition people saying that you already have that in the game. How well, about this? Do a one tick pulse. Java Edition Master Race. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm totally joking, but I really don't. <laughs> Play whatever you want. Now I'm a little bit embarrassed about this one because that's a dolphin. <laughs> Let's start that again. I am a little bit embarrassed about this one because I feel partially responsible for them. You see, when, when we had the vote on what mob to add into the game, I went onto Twitter and I pleaded for people to add phantoms. And and they've been added and, and, and they're, they're literally the worst. They sounded like they were going to be a lot cooler than they actually are. I promise. <laughs> when you... <laughs> oh, this thing looks ridiculous. When you fire the perfect shots at a ghast... With your burn arrow, and then just as it's about to hit, as it's about to make critical contact, and you're gonna get that satisfying moment, the ghastly spawns. Bumping your head on stairs. You have heard me talk about this, okay? If you've watched this channel before, you've heard me talk about this. Nothing makes me feel worse. Nothing. I get I get a real pain in my actual forehead when I see that. And actually, in a similar boat, which I definitely don't think is the same, we're gonna ignore that. Two high ceilings. You know, it just feels like my, my head is scraping across the roof. It makes me feel so claustrophobic, and I'm not claustrophobic, but I feel claustrophobic right now. Just the stair crafting recipe in general. And let's do a quick, let's do a quick maths lesson, alright? What do you think uses more wood? This? A full block? A full one, one meter by one meter by one meter cube? Or this? A one meter by one meter by one meter cube with a quarter of it missing? Alright? It seems obvious, doesn't it? It seems obvious, but clearly Mojang missed that lesson. Because this is more expensive. That's like 10 years of Minecraft playing pent up anger there. <laughs> Anvil, who do you think you are, right? Telling me that I, it's too expensive for me to put more enchantments on my sword. Look, I got 60 levels, okay? Clearly I'm balling out of control when it comes to XP. Just give me the option to put these extra things on my sword. I mean, clearly this isn't good enough just yet. It must be getting late. I must have played too much Minecraft today because I've started picking fights with anvils. When you're doing a little bit of enchanting, you see Fortune 3 come up, you're thinking, this is going to be good, I'm set. And then you, you break the item in the item frame. What I meant to say was, you only get Fortune 3, you don't get any extra enchantments. But to be honest with you, what happened right there was more frustrating. When you think you've been innovative, and then you take YouTube. Happens to me all the time. I think I've come up with some genius new way to do a redstone circuit. Really, really proud of myself. And then I look on YouTube and find thousands, literally thousands of videos showcasing the exact same thing. And actually staying on the redstone side of things. When you build up some kind of slime block based flying machine and you forget to back up the world before launching it and it sticks to itself. <laughs> it's a disgusting feeling. Now I have to say this isn't the world that I was planning on loading up, but it's reminded me how cool coloured slime blocks are. I mean, imagine how cool it would be if these were actually in the game. Come on, you gave us honey blocks. Honey blocks are amazing. Oh, it's just one step further. When you forget how to build something that you've built hundreds of times. This happens to me every single time I do a 3x3 piston door. I've built a good number of these in my time. Okay, a really good number. And despite that, I still, I always forget the repeater timings. Is it four ticks here? I feel like it's four ticks here. Maybe two ticks here. I get them mixed up. When a zombie kills you and literally becomes the mega zombie, he goes to town. And not only does he take all your armor, he takes your diamond swords, he takes your pickaxe. If you're wearing an elytra, he's wearing that too. Just becomes an iron man. No, I've got no joke there. Finish the joke for me in the comment section, please. All right, redeem this. When you're bone mealing a sapling and it literally takes all the bone meal in the world. And then when you eventually do get a tree, you get a stupid one. I mean, it's really, unless you want a stupid tree, sometimes you want a stupid tree, okay? And it's so typical when you want a stupid tree, you never get a stupid tree. But if you're just trying to farm wood, getting stupid trees is so frustrating. Getting lost in an abandoned mine shaft, which by the way is 100% inevitable if you do decide to venture into an abandoned mine shaft. I don't think I've ever gone through an abandoned mine shaft without getting lost. And actually while we're talking about abandoned mine shafts, need I say any more? I mean, I feel like no words. I, I, I just don't think that words are even necessary here. Needing large amounts of anything that can't be farmed. It's really upsetting because some of my favourite things in the game, like observers, comparators, daylight sensors, they could go, I wouldn't really care, but concrete powder, shulker boxes, all of them are made up of things that can't actually be farmed. I have to go out and get the stuff manually. I mean, what is this, 2009? This one isn't technically Minecraft's fault, but still. When people say that Minecraft has bad graphics, 
Uh, I mean, thankfully I haven't heard it for quite some time, but this used to be prevalent back in the day. When you try to write people on a chest, but accidentally rotate your item frame. This happens to me so frequently, right? That sometimes on my lazier days, I think about just leaving it and then being comfortable with the knowledge that if it happens seven more times, it'll be back in the correct position. <laughs> That is quite lazy, isn't it? If I didn't have to make YouTube videos and present them to loads of people, trust me, my storage system would be a madhouse. When someone walks into your base and just flicks all your levers, just goes to town, activates all your farms, turns on all your redstone contraptions, and... Oh, Graham, what are you doing here? And actually, while you're here, can I have my moustache back, please? I mean, goodness me. When you fly many thousands of blocks using your Elytra, and then run out of rockets, or run out of Elytra durability, and have to walk all the way home. Now that I think about it, that's a bit of a first world problem, but still. When you're trying to place blocks in a line, and then a flower gets in the way, it, it kind of drives me off the wall a tiny bit. I mean, I'm not necessarily saying that they should remove all flowers, but... If they were to disappear, I wouldn't be too upset. Of course, I'm joking, Mojang, please don't remove flowers. Building circles. See this? This is my best attempt. That's how difficult it is, alright? Look at this! Removing water. Now this has gotten a lot easier now that we can dry off these sponge blocks in the nether, but still... I mean, to be fair, when you're in creative mode, it is actually quite satisfying, but look! I haven't even... All I've done is made a mess. Uh, uh villagers. You know, a lot's happened between that. We've probably gone through 30 other frustrating things. I wouldn't want you to forget that villagers are incredibly frustrating. Now, this one is incredibly specific, but hear me out on this one, okay? When you're trying to open a chest, with an axe in your hand, and you misclick, and accidentally strip the log next to it. Now, I, I know, I know. <laughs> very, very specific. But as someone who has logs next to their chests, in their base, it happens far too often. But trust me, all of the previous things that I've mentioned pale in comparison to this guy. Need I say any more? Ne need I say any more? That's how annoying he is. Look, he doesn't even want to be on camera. He's, he's not having any of it. And on that note, I think it's time to end. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I punched this guy to death just while I'm talking casually. All right, I, I do hope you've enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun to record. Plenty of frustrating things. Let me know down in the comment section if there's anything more frustrating that you can think about. And I'll catch you in the next one. See ya. Goodness me, I feel better now that he's dead. I can't wait for someone to take that out of context. Quote it down in the comment section like everybody does. I could say something totally mundane like I've logged into Minecraft this morning and someone will write mumbo quote marks i've logged into minecraft this morning somebody's already done it you know what guarantee you there'll be someone writing that down in the comment section i promise you i would bet my feet on it